Now we're getting really close to being done with the plumbing here on the grow bed and I wanted to take a minute to kind of go over uh, what I've done here. I did not want a standpipe on the inside of the grow bed. I want a drain on the floor and that, that's what we did yesterday. We put a uh, two inch shower drain in the floor of the grow bed. Uh, I did that because I want to be able to drain the grow bed completely easily. Plus, if I have some solid accumulation in there, I want them to go out the drain. Um, so what I've done is I've adapted into this uh, four inch T and on the bottom I've used one of these rubber couplings uh, because the pipe can go completely through it. There's no stop to stop it and the pipe comes all the way up in the air. That way I can attach another pipe here. So this is going to work as a stand pipe. So the water is going to come into this and then I'm going to put this external pipe here and the water will fill the external pipe will reach the height of the top of the scan pipe and then it will drain and that will set the height of the water in the grow bed and that's what I want. Uh, this is the supply line out to the grow beds and I did have to add this uh, uh, check valve here uh, out to the grow beds. Um, the problem is the nozzle where the uh, or the inlet for the water into the grow beds is actually below the level of the water. So when the uh, power went out, of course, that drained back in to the sump tank here. You know, the water from the grow bed is obviously higher than this. So it would drain back out and it would uh, overflow the sump tank. Because um, obviously the sump tank's not big enough to, to store the thousand gallons that the grow bed holds. Uh, so we just went and added a little check valve down there and problem solved. Well, we finally got the grow bed uh, done. Yay! Um, we put some nice uh, one by six, uh, basically deck board uh, along the top, kind of dress it up and check the uh, the liner, uh, keep the liner uh, nice and even and in. Uh, right now we've got uh, three quarter inch uh, uh, rigid foam insulation in here. Um, this is not what I'm going to use uh, to grow the plants in. I'm going to get uh, two inch thick uh, expanded polystyrene foam. Uh, but I had to put this in here because a couple days ago it was really windy and I literally had white caps on the top of the water in the grow bed and everything was pushing down to this end and the water was flowing out. So I went down to Home Depot and I got some, uh, actually I think this was Lowe's, but got some four, eight, four foot by eight foot sheets and uh, put them in and that helps keep the wind off of things. Um, I also added a little bit of a, a little cover. Um, just some spare pieces I had lying around. You can hear that thing gurgling in there. Um, and it throws up a lot of, uh, it splashes a lot. So I put that in there to uh, just keep the, the water in. So it lets enough air in so we don't get a siphon and it just keeps the, the water that splashes and it's gurgling from uh, getting out of the system. Now I did have one problem. Uh, I had to actually redo the drain. Um, this is a drain I used. I got this at uh, Home Depot and it was like eight bucks. Um, one problem, it's a glue fitting. Once you glue this together, you can no longer tighten or loosen this drain. So lo and behold, if you put it in and you don't get this tightened just right, because if you over tighten it, uh, it's actually tapered and it'll push the gasket out and leak. And if you don't tighten it enough, it obviously leaks. But the problem is, is once you put it in and you glue this fitting on the bottom, you can't tighten it. Uh, so I had to spend a day draining the grow bed back out pumping the water back out of my storage tank uh, and my rain collection system and then uh, cutting this apart and putting a different drain in there. Um, I got a uh, different drain. They have one at, uh, at Home Depot and it's basically the same thing but it uh, has a rubber gasket on the inside of it and the pipe comes up through the rubber gasket and then there's a collar on the inside that screws down and compresses that gasket against the pipe. So you tighten, um, it's got a regular nut and a gasket that you tighten for the for this seal and then it has a collar on the inside for the other seal. 
Uh, it works a lot better. It's a couple dollars more than this one, and it is well worth spending the extra money on if you're going to take on a project like this. Uh, this whole thing ended up taking me a, a couple extra days to get done because of the mess up, and I don't have a really fast pump, and I'm pumping through a uh, three-quarter inch hose, uh, you know, 150 feet over to the barn uh, where the stored water storage tanks are. So, anyway, I'm glad it's finally done. Um, it's a really good project. It's a really good solid bed. Uh, we went through and I used a uh, floor jack and I leveled everything up and put little shims underneath all the legs. So everything is nice and level. Uh, and it seems to be working really good. I mean, I don't have any problems with it. Uh, you know, it holds water, it's not leaking. Um, and overall, it's been a really good project.